Welcome to Folio Tech, the electronic portfolio system for use for your educator evaluations. At the top of the screen, you see the tabs that take you to the main areas of your portfolio. The Assessment tab always brings you back to this opening screen. Files tab takes you to the storage area of your portfolio where you can upload files for use inside your portfolio. The Messages tab takes you to the Messaging Center where you can send and receive messages with other teachers in your district that are using Folio Tech. The Profile tab takes you to the area of your portfolio where your basic personal information is stored. You see your username, your password, and your email address. If at any time you need to change that information, you can click on the Edit Personal Information link and you'll be allowed to change that information. Now we're going to go back to the Assessment tab and begin to look at your portfolio. Under Edit This Portfolio, we see the sections of your portfolio where you will do most of your work. Right now there's only one section, but as you continue to use Folio Tech, more sections will be added. By clicking on 2013-2014, we're taken into that section of the portfolio that contains data for the educator evaluations that you're undergoing for this school year. The first thing you notice are three required elements of the portfolio. We have the walkthrough forms, the protocol forms, and the literacy forms. For those of you that are teaching in the middle school or high school, you will not have a section for the literacy forms. By clicking on any of these links to forms, we see a list of those forms inside your portfolio. These forms are available to be filled out by your district and building administrators. You'll notice if we click on the form, it opens up to show us the information that's in it. Currently, this form has not been filled out. But you'll also notice, as a teacher, you cannot fill out any of the information in the form. These are set to only be filled out by district or building administrators. Once an administrator has filled out the form, the modified date to the right will change, and you'll know that there's information in that form that you can look at. To get back to that section of the portfolio, simply click on 2013-2014 again. At the bottom, you'll notice an area where you can add quality indicators. This is the part of the portfolio where you're going to create an element or container for each of the indicators that you're working on for that particular school year. By clicking on Add Quality Indicator, we're allowed to create a new quality indicator to store information in. We want to give it a name. and click OK. And now our container inside of this section of that portfolio has been created. The next step, which is extremely important, is to click on the Bayless Standards tab. Here, you're going to align this element or container of the portfolio with the correct Bayless Standard. We do that by clicking on Align Bayless Standards. We select the standard which should be aligned to this element of the portfolio. And a reminder here to only select one standard for each element that you create. We scroll to the bottom, click on OK, and now a connection has been made between this standard and the information that we're going to upload in the Quality Indicator tab. This is extremely important because that is how the system knows which rubric to apply to this element of the portfolio to make sure that you're scored against the proper rubric. At this point, you can begin to add files. If it's a file that's stored on your computer, you want to use Upload a New File. If it's a file that you've already added to your file storage area, you can use Add Existing File. We're going to upload a new file. Click on Add Files to open up a browser to search your computer. Once you find the file that you need, add it to the portfolio, click on OK, and now that file is stored inside of this element of the portfolio. A copy of it is also stored in your file's storage area. And at that point, you've really done all that you need to do inside of your FolioTech account. When you're ready to create an element for the next standard, simply click on the section, click on Add Quality Indicator again, and go through that process one more time. Be sure to create a quality indicator element or container for each of the quality indicators that you're being scored on for that particular school year. 
If at any time you want to go back to the opening screen of your portfolio, simply click on the Assessment tab. One other section of your portfolio that will be important to you is the Evaluations area. Here, you can see the evaluations that are currently being scored on your portfolio or the scores that you've been given on evaluations that have scored your portfolio. Click on the Evaluations link and it brings you to the current tab. If an administrator is currently scoring an evaluation on your portfolio, it will show up here in the current tab. Once the principal has completed that scoring, that evaluation will show up in the completed tab and you'll be able to see the score that you were given. If you should need help when you're working in your portfolio or instructions on doing something inside your portfolio, be sure to contact our support team at 888-365-4639 and dial extension 2 for technical support.